Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the world's first gaming projector that's been designed for first person shooters. We're talking about a gaming projector that has a low latency mode of four milliseconds. You heard that right, four milliseconds. Now, this is also a 4K projector that will give you 4K content that's gonna create an amazing movie viewing experience, right? In addition to the gaming experience. And not only that, but we're talking about a projector that's gonna give you a ginormous screen. We're talking about up to 150 inches. We're talking about six feet from the wall, you're gonna be able to get a 100 inch image. Seven feet from the wall, you're gonna get 120 image. Now, if you have nine feet from the wall, you're gonna be able to get up to 150 inch image. That is a ginormous screen. Imagine the kind of gameplay you can have in that setting. But not only are we talking about gaming, we're also talking about movie viewing because you're gonna get fantastic image quality coming from the light source from this projector. And you'll see this throughout um, this video, how no matter what the lighting situation is, windows open, windows closed, uh, you see that I have a great image being projected from this projector just feet away from my screen. We're talking about 3,000 lumens coming from this small projector. We're also talking about a projector that is very forgiving. It, it basically adjusts to the room that you have because it has this keystoning feature where depending on the pitch or the angle, it automatically is gonna adjust to give you the best viewing experience. And then if your projector isn't flat because you have imperfect floors or just the area that you're in is just imperfect, it also has picture rotation. So it's gonna adjust the image as well. Now, it also has expandability. So you have a couple HDMI ports and you also have the ability to support um, eARC as well, which is gonna give you great audio, especially if you expand this to an audio system. You do have USB and then you also have an aux cable out. Now, this projector uh, has great color, I would say reproduction. The, the, the color signature that I've seen in this is really, really good. We're talking about 96% Rec. 709, HDR10. Now, from a gaming perspective, because let's face it, if you're really interested in gaming, you're gonna wanna know these specs. We're talking about 4K or 1080p at 60 hertz, you're gonna get 16 milliseconds. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? If you think about 4K at 30 hertz or 1080p, you're gonna get 22 milliseconds. If you look at, let's say for example, 1080p, at 120 hertz, you're gonna get eight milliseconds. So you're seeing a trend here. As you lower the resolution, the milliseconds drop even further to the point where if you get 1080p, 240 hertz, you're gonna get four milliseconds. Incredible when it comes to gaming. And really, this is a this is a system that's designed for first person shooters, RPG or SPG type modes. It all really depends on the type of gamer that you are. Uh, it also supports Bluetooth uh, 4.2 as well as Wi-Fi. Now, for those of you who are curious about the lamp life, you can get anywhere from 4,000 to 15,000 hours of usage out of this projector, depending on the mode that you're in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this projector in performance, right? We're gonna take a look at the operating system. We'll see some, some gameplay so that you can see what my experience has been with it. But this is an absolutely fantastic package for those of you who are looking for a gaming projector, but also want something that's gonna give you the ability to consume Again, movies, um, Netflix, whatever content you want, you're gonna be able to get it here. Now the very first thing that we're gonna take a look at is the overall performance of the projector in a weld environment. And what you have here is again, blinds fully open. I have six windows and you'll notice that where the projector is sitting, it's, it's very bright. There is really no uh, lighting, no recording lighting going on. This is just how bright this room is. And you can see that this projector is doing fantastically well. Even with some uh, of the dark scenes, you can see how much uh, black levels, uh, how they're uh, presented here. And then you can see the white levels themselves. Now, once we start moving into a, a closed blind, so uh, I just closed the blind, still same time, literally this is just minutes apart. And you can see how much the colors pop as soon as we close those blinds. Uh, great performance again, still same position. Now, uh, and there's also still a light source behind me. So my kitchen is actually behind me in this case. Now this next shot is basically switching to complete darkness. And in complete darkness, this is pretty much nighttime outside. Doesn't matter if the blinds would be open or closed because there's no light source coming from the outside but you get a fantastic, fantastic image that has great deep levels of black. Your colors are vibrant. Um, you know, the reds uh, pop, blues, greens, everything is just uh, fantastic when it comes to this. And then as we go into the gaming, you're gonna see how well it looks too. Now from a gaming experience, we tried a variety of games just to see what the lag, if anything, uh, was present. Uh, we tried first person shooters, we tried action uh, plays, we uh, tried some 
some that were like very dark in nature, some that were very bright and colorful. And we found that all in all, the experience was extremely positive in every single game situation. Now, the only thing I would say that I would consider upgrading is going to be the audio. While this does well in a various settings, day, night, day, night, you know, blinds open, blind closed kind of situation. Uh, still, I found that the audio, while it's great for a small room, I really prefer big sound, much bigger sound. So that ER uh, capability as well as the Bluetooth is going to give you the ability to have a more immersive game experience. But again, uh, he, this, this is just an all around great projector. Now, as you can see here, I am running my BenQ projector in a very well lit environment. Uh, it's actually daytime. I have six windows and we've kind of like zoomed into the menu area so that we can uh, just go ahead and go through some of the configuration options that you have here. Now I am using a ALR screen. This actually happens to be an elite screen um, ALR or CLR as they would refer to it that is rejecting uh, light from the left and the right, right? But it's still able to uh, accept the light that's coming from the BenQ projector, which is relatively um, a short distance away. We're looking at a 123 inch screen here and the projector could actually go a little bit larger. Um, I just pulled it back a little bit because I find that it's easier for me to adjust than get all the corners nicely filled as opposed to being a little bit closer, um, which would still fill the, fill the screen, um, but it would be a little bit more challenging for me to adjust it with the actual focus and the zoom lens. So what you're seeing here are some of the modes that are available um, in the projector and uh, when you go into it and the very bottom, the menu comes up and you have HDR 10, you have game mode and it does change. It makes things a little bit lighter, in my opinion, um, as you go through each one of these, right, going from, from mode to mode. So I actually um, have been preferring the HDR 10 mode um, in this. Uh, you do have a sound mode, right, which you can change and you can go from sports to user to cinema version. And keep in mind that the actual speaker on this projector isn't terribly loud, right? So, but it, it's, it's well enough if you don't have anything else. I would actually recommend that if you have a Bluetooth speaker that you use the Bluetooth connection. Um, if you have a Dolby surround sound system, uh, eARC, go for that as well. So you have, you have those choices. Uh, again, and you also have a music um, or game mode um, as one of the settings that you can have there. So I'll leave it where I was in the sports area. You then also have the ability to change your light source mode and your light source mode is going to vary. At nighttime, there is a difference. At the daytime, I'd say there is as well, but probably uh, you'll be able to see here some of, the, some of the differences. So I go from normal and then I went to eco and it, went, it got a little bit lighter, right? It's not as bright as it was. Um, you have smart eco, you have lamp save, uh, you have normal. So if I go back to lamp save, it did a little shift there. If I go back to normal, you can see the difference. And if I go back to eco, you can see it as well. So we're running it right here in normal mode. And you can see that, again, this is intense light. I wanted to show you kind of like an intense view. You have 2D keystoning. And again, this is gonna allow you not to have to have the projector in a perfect alignment. Um, and you can adjust your keystoning. And you saw some of the examples in the video, but this is what the menu looks like, and you can change it. I will highlight that if you have to do any kind of keystoning, that it does, because of the image correction, you are gonna lose um, some pixels or some quality. So I'd recommend to try to get the best um, alignment you can prior to resorting to any of the automated alignment options, right? Uh, you then also have over here, if we go up, uh, you also have some HDR brightness options that you have. This is pretty much factory uh, settings. I'll go one step up so you can see the difference. So it does get a little bit of a pop. If I go back, it doesn't. And if I go lower, you can see how it's getting a little bit darker. But this is where it's at, but this is how much you can pop it. And at night, you know, it does, it does uh, pop even more. Information, and then you could switch the menu from being a basic menu to an advanced menu as well. Now this projector runs really, really quiet. I just wanted to share with you kind of like, what's the sound level of the house? So we're gonna go ahead and bring this into focus. And I stay quiet so you can see how much noise there is. Okay, now let's go ahead and we're gonna put it right by the fan and check this out. Not good. So it's not going to make any real distinguishable noise to you if you're using this. I, you can be sitting right behind it like I am right now on the sofa, using this to play on a wall, on a screen like I am, and it's not going to be distracting at all. So guys, that wraps up our review. And if you're looking for a gaming projector, low latency gaming, then this is definitely the one to check out. See you in the next video.